Hey guys, and welcome to day seven in a row of my daily morning shaves. So I started this challenge last week. I just wanted to do five daily morning shaves in a row, see if I could get away with it, to see if my skin could deal with the uh, daily shaves, to see if the blade would hold up. And things are going so well, I've just decided to continue with these daily morning shaves. It's something I very much enjoy. My skin is doing great. I have no irritation. I think it's just really amazing that the human body can adapt and so quickly. Early in the week, you know, around shaves two or three in a row, I was getting lots of irritation. But now, it's just doing great. You know, I'm not getting any irritation on my neck. It feels good. No burning after or during the shave. And I'm getting good, close shaves. And it's just something really nice to go into every day with. So I'm going to be continuing. Like I said, today's day seven. I did retire the blade though after yesterday's shave. It just it was getting a little dull, it just wasn't quite as smooth. So this is a fresh Persona Lab Blue blade in here and I'm still going with the Mercor 37C. So for today's shave, I'm using a different uh, complete shaving uh, system that I've only used a few times before. I got this a couple months ago, I've experimented with it some. I'm still experimenting with it and dialing it in before I'm gonna do my full review of it. But this is the Hydrolast shaving system by Charles Roberts at Enchante, Enchante in uh, Austin, Texas. I believe they're in Austin, but they're definitely in Texas. Um, so he has this whole shaving system out there. It's called Method Shaving. You use the Hydrolast products and then you do a method shave. It's in certain directions and certain passes and forms on the face. You know, it's, it's a pretty complex system. I do find it a little intimidating overall. There's lots of terminology there. So I'm not gonna be doing like a full method shave today. Uh, I just really wanna review the products at this point and you know, see how these do, see how these produce a lather, see what kind of shave they give. In the past, they've given great shaves. So I'm definitely excited to give these a shot. Um, so first of all, you start off with, just to kind of give you a rundown of how this is, the way I look at the Hydrolast products, it's basically deconstructed shave soap. When we buy a traditional shaving soap and like a puck, like a Razor Rock, anything, it's, it's all mixed in here. You look at the ingredient list, it's a complex list. Um, you know, it's got all the different components of a shaving uh, cream or soap in there and you just lather it up and go with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. With the Hydrolast system though, it's completely deconstructed. You have your shaving soap, it's like this block. You use a shaving cloth instead of a shaving brush, though you can use a shaving brush and the system used to be based around that. Now it uses a shaving cloth to produce the lather. Then you add in the cutting balm, which is just some blend of oils, and then the shaving paste. Anyway, you add it all together. So I'm gonna kinda explain what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of experimenting still and dialing this in, but this is what I'm gonna be using for today's shave. Alright, so first of all I'm going to fill up my sink with hot water and you put the shaving cube thing right in the water along with the shaving cloth. So uh, here it is, the stuff is soaking, it kind of gets your, uh, your, the water in the sink here nice and soapy. Um, and so the shaving soap, the actual block of soap is from Marseille, France. That's what his thing's based around. He doesn't make the soap. He uses this and then he creates the other products and adds in. And I wish I knew what was in these other products. He doesn't list his ingredients. Um, I bet there's people out there who have guessed, but from what I've seen, there's no ingredient list and you don't have to do that with cosmetic products in the US according to the FDA. But it'd be nice to know what's in there, but whatever. So here's a shaving cloth. It's wet from the sink and wring it out a little bit. You take it, you lay it here on your hand in like a diamond shape. I'm just kind of talking through what I've read online and you put the block of soap in there and you're making your primer, I think he calls it. I'm sorry, I don't, I can't quite recall all of the different terms because there's a lot of them. Um, but you do this, he calls this sacking up. I do remember that. Kind of rub it in here. Spin the soap around, flip it over, and then you go to the cutting balm. That's the uh, it's this liquid here. It basically looks like oil to me. You add in like 20 or 30 drops. He says like quarter size. So I'm gonna just add in. There's like a quarter size amount here. So here's the cloth. Here's this. And you just basically keep rubbing it together. All right, I'm gonna add in a little bit of water here. So then you take your cloth, it's got all the soap and stuff in there. Hope you guys don't mind I'm going through this process. Just something I wanted to try, a little bit different, kind of mix up shaving a little bit. 
Anyway, you fold it on itself twice, fold it over like this, you extract out the lather. It's looking uh, big bubbles in there for me right now. And then you just kind of, instead of using a shaving brush to kind of work it, you, you put it back in the cloth here, fold over twice. You just kind of keep doing this to kind of make the lather, whoops, denser, thicker. All right, I'm gonna get a little more soap here, load it up, or primer or whatever. <laughs> Sorry, need to be better at these terms. Okay, I keep building this lather up. There, it's looking a little more dense now. It's definitely a very involved method, and it takes a while to kind of fine tune it and get used to what you're doing and how to do all this. Um, in the past, though, it did give me fantastic shaves, so it definitely could be worth it. Um, this is a vastly different process than just using a shaving brush and going to the puck and loading up and building a lather on your face, which I find very easy. Uh, this is a little more time consuming, for sure. Alright, here we go. So you take this, this is the, uh, this is like the lather here. You set your towel aside, or the shaving, whatever, sorry, I can't remember what that is. Uh, you take this, looks good, nice quality here, and you add it into your face. Alright, this is dissipating on me. This has happened before when I've used this. Um, I still don't have it built, I don't think, completely correct. So I'm going back to the block. Load up more soap. Yeah, you can see there, it's definitely dissipating on me. Um, this is not a stable lather at this point. Okay, I'm gonna add in a few more drops of this cutting balm. This could be the problem. There. Now I've got a really nice lather coming out of this for sure. Okay. Fold this over. I just don't think I had enough soap and cutting balm before. And to work into your face, you just use your fingertips. You don't, uh, you know, use like a brush or the, or the, uh, the shaving cloth. You just kind of use your fingertips. This still isn't quite stable here. Alright. This is not going well. I'm not going to shave with a lather like this. Not worth it. All right, I'm gonna give this one more shot. I'm gonna go get my synthetic shaving brush and see if I can use that. Uh, just because that doesn't have to soak, so I don't have to spend the time soaking it here. All right, so this is my Omega High Brush Synthetic. Nice thing about synthetic brushes, don't soak them, so I'm just gonna dip it here in the sink. All right, I'm just gonna use it like a traditional shaving soap. I'm just gonna load up here Add the cutting balm into the brush itself, then see if we can build a good lather like that. All right, so I'm gonna put some of this cutting balm right into the top of the knot there, a few drops, and go back, load up more. All right. This may look like a decent lather. trying to dial this thing in, adding in more cutting balm, loading up more, keeping it drier, uh, trying all the little tricks in the book to try to get this stuff to give a good lather. As you can see, it's just dissipating out, just like, just looks like, you know, normal hand soap kind of lather at this point. This is looking denser, what's coming off here for sure. Um, I don't know if it looks like a typical shaving lather though. Alright, I'm going to stick with it. This is not like your typical shaving lather, but we'll see how it goes. If it's pulling, tugging, I'm going to not go for the shave. I'll bail out and use something else. Got a few standbys here. All right. So after you do that, if you can get that where you like it, you go to the shaving paste. It's kind of another 
call it like emollients and stuff. I think it's just like clay uh, with oil in there. You take it and you put it in there with your hands. You add it in directly. All right, the shaving paste seemed to like thicken this stuff up. So I'm gonna go here to the brush. This is part of it. You can kind of keep just going back and forth with uh, this hydrolast stuff and method chain. Seems like you kind of just keep adding stuff in, going back and forth, and many passes. There's more of a method to it than that, but uh, but I do know that includes uh, many applications of the uh, the wet mix of the lather. Okay. So I'm gonna add a little bit more because it's thickened up a lot. All right, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get for me today. I've been sinking enough time into this already. I need to get shaving. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Looks decent. I think I, this lather will work all right. Um, go in here with my razor, McCore 37C, fresh blade in here, and I'm gonna go with the grain. The stuff is very slick. I still have it on my hands, so I'm pulling out the uh, Allen block to get a little bit better grip here. Just got nothing here on my neck. Adding in a little bit of suds here. All right, it's very slick. Um, I'll give it that, incredibly slick. Because there's just a lot of soap on here. Not feeling great protection from it though. Um, could be due to many, many reasons but not feeling great protection. So I'm gonna go back to this. I just wanna do a clean up pass. Add this directly to my face. The cutting balm. <laughs> All right, it's the first semi-decent lather I think I've seen from this stuff. Still dissipating, but uh, whatever. I made an absolute mess here in the bathroom too. I think that feels good where it's at here. I'm gonna get cleaned up for some final remarks. All right, so that was my shave with the Hydrolast system, and I will say, it was a very close shave. Uh, very, very close for sure. Tons of hydration on my skin. It feels great, uh, but that was just a challenge to use and messy. I got stuff on the mirror here, all over my sink. This is like a little mini war zone down here. It's a mess. Um, it took a long time. I wasn't even really, really happy with the lather I got. Um, I feel like with this product, I feel like you get a very, very slick lather. It's based around this hand soap or body soap, whatever it is. Uh, and you basically add stuff in to add more protection. But I still feel like I was getting tons of protection there. Um, during the shave, it hurt a little bit. I got myself a little bit here on my chin, which I almost never do. Um, it just took a long time and I wasn't happy with the product, uh, with the final like lather. Um, anyway, thank you guys for sticking with me. It's Sunday, so I had a little bit extra time, so I figured this would be a good time to revisit this system because I kind of wanted to like, help work out some of the kinks, see if I could uh, get this usable. I still gonna need to do some work with it. Um, I thought I might get some better results today, but uh, unfortunately I did not. But it was still a good shave, uh, aside from this cut here. Um, but my skin's doing great. Feels awesome with these daily shaves. It's really adapted nicely. It's only a week, but it feels good. Today I'm using the Nivea Post Shave Balm Original. Add that in. So once again, thank you for sticking with me with this shaving episode. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing this shaving system at all. Um, just something that I've been interested in. Uh, Charles Roberts, he's a very passionate guy. He puts out a uh, good amount of videos out there about his system and how to shave. And I definitely appreciate his passion and his ingenuity and in trying to make the shaving world you know, better and more approachable for certain people who aren't getting ideal results with shaving. Uh, it is a bit much, not kind of really what I'm uh, looking for, but anyway, it's out there. It's something that exists. I know some of you guys use it. Um, so yeah, tomorrow, new shaving video. I'm gonna be back to using traditional shaving soaps and creams. I got a few lined up here that I uh, wanna give a shot. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. New video tomorrow.